Disclaimer. This is my opinion. Everything flows, and all is connected. Besides... Hello. Here's mighty realist in Tower Heroes. First off. Scientist. One of the best late defend and boss killer heroes in the Tower Heroes franchise. She's attack type as ranged and mass DPS. Bunny. One of the most underrated heroes in my opinion, because the upgrades is cheap and the damage is really good. Except the fire it, if is near with other bunnies. This is a good way for alternative the level 3 and 4 have good defense mechanism, if you don't have dumpster child or may take. Spectre. One of the best support towers in this tower heroes franchise. Because it can double the DPS. But it can make the price higher. Just place only level to Spectre, unless if you have a level 5 discount dog. Dumpster Child. One of the best early mass carry heroes. Use this hero, only if there is dearly full of shrooms. Poison type enemies or fast enemies. The downside is it can miss any enemy depends on the crowd slash horde, or how fast it is. May take. A very good alternative for Dumpster Child. Use this if you are low in mana in very early match or the enemies are full of fire types. The downside is a level 1 to 3 can miss alert. So place alert of may takes. It can heal nearby summoners. And can be used as a glitch in the escort mod or any escort weekly challenges and etc. Discount dog. The third best support hero. It can decrease the price on any towers in his range. The ability is really good, because it increases the hero capacity limit by 1 but is expensive, and cannot increase the summoner's hero capacity limit, and will decrease the DPS by 5% it can make way for a bit bad however. Scientist and branch is still got in the effects of discount dogs side do buffs. Jester. One of the most hated heroes in the Tower Heroes franchise. Because of the RNG. It rarely spawn enemies with better HP and often add good buff effects in enemies and debuffs in summoners from the player's side. So don't ever use this bullshit. Slime King. The weakest summoner in the Tower Heroes franchise. It spawns 500 HP slimes if it got touched the enemy will gain the fire debuff that deals 2 damage per second. However it has the spawn king slime to help the player's side. Which is like the balloon pal spawn helper. But is still a decent hero. Don't let classic alb 0x see this shit lol. Wizard. Second underrated hero in the tower heroes franchise. Is cheap like bunny. But lesser dps. You can increase the dps by purchasing the increase magic damage. But it has lesser range than wafer. But better fire it and hero limit. Lemonade Cat. Will give you mana per wave skipped or finished. The downside is. You have to wait for the profit. Tower Heroes Vault. Not Finn's Logic's friend. Are another decent crowd control. Good fire it. But lesser range. DPS and expensive. Beatrice. A decent tower. But I may complain about it. Because the bee swarm control is removed. But it can still lock her bees in the targeted enemy. But very good damage. Best anti-boss. Oddport. A summoner that only summon per summoned unit. Except it only spawn one summoned unit. Which makes it terrible. But the good thing it can damage enemies with a range attacks and melee attacks. Sparks Kilo Watt. A decent DPS hero the rocket is good, but her DPS got outclassed. The range and fire it is also good. Keith. 
not Friday Night Funkin' Boyfriend okay. The DPS is good. It can shoot his weapon back and forth, and can do crowd control, and the fire it is good that he struggles with fast enemies. Stella. The DPS depends that you place her. Is hard to use her in mobile other people said. Yatsuk. Function like old chef. But more DPS and range. And the fire it is a bit long. Bebo. Always reaching the whole map. Very long range. Good DPS and fire it. Feel free to make a cult out of this lol. Chef. Basic melee tower. Good fire it at level 1. The DPS is pretty good. The range and fire it is bad. Voga. The biggest range in the Tower Heroes franchise. The DPS is good. AoE and the range is so fucking big. People this day simping a minor slash lolly. Wafer. The replacement for Fracture. Very good damage. Decent fire at melee attack and a good range. Branch. Very good fire at. Decent DPS and a decent range. Damarima boy. Haze. Infinite range. Anti-boss. Good DPS. Decent summon and crow rate. Bite. A stunner. Little difficult to learn level 4 and level 5 can do a stun combo decent range but no DPS. Cut kid. One of the best defender summoner. The invisibility makes it better but it lasts 8 seconds. The unused ability cut kid has around 500 HP above. While the invisibility has 1000 HP, if it gets hits it will get reduced by 200. Balloon Pal. Second best support tower. Boost nearby heroes range, but makes the fire at bad. Fracture. Good DPS. Decent range but bad fire it. Hot Dog Frank. Third underrated hero in the Tower Heroes franchise. Best DPS. Decent fire at an AoE but small range. It took 2 hours to make this video please subscribe and like the video because